Hello VC and welcome to another small installment of uh, my uh, videos uh, musing about the music I'm listening to or I've been listening to in the last days. So uh, I want to start with the, these, this band from the 80s which is the SOS band and their album Sand of Time or Sands of Time. But well, this is a great example of what you would call electro-funk or uh, typically 80s jazz funk uh, with a very prominent uh, bass sound and all pretty funky and cool. And uh, certainly something I like to listen to from time to time. Now I've been listening to this record which is Adonia by Ose. Now this is a, a record uh, from the 70s from France and um, this was uh, conceived by an, an artist called R. Picard who, uh, not, who is not related to me by the way and uh, um, who is a multi-instrumentalist playing a whole range of uh, typical 70s uh, synthesizers here um, obviously the famous ARP and Minimook, Polymook, uh, but he's also, he's also a guitar player, so there are some uh, great, uh, rather proggy or psychedelic guitar solos on here. Overall, this is a very uh, sort of enigmatic, spheric album and uh, a good lesson. It's a great record. This came out in 1970. Uh, yeah, if I only knew, I think like 70, 7, 70, 78 on egg. Yeah, Ose Adonia. Now staying in the same mood, I have uh, listened to this wonderful record. Uh, this is uh, Bruit et Temps Analogue uh, by Patrick Vian. Now this is one of these examples of an um, album or an artist that has only released one record. Um, in this case this is it. Um, again a great example of sort of uh, electronic uh, science fiction music uh, crossing over into certain aspects of uh, psychedelic. Um, so uh, again came out on Egg. This is a reissue uh, on, a, on a label called Staubgold and um, overall this is a great record uh, again a kind of a mixture of proto-ambient and uh, uh, spheric music uh, again with a certain psychedelic vibe to it great record and uh, again one of these examples or cases where it's quite astounding that uh, this uh, artist didn't put out any more music, at least uh, in this in this setup. Yeah. Um, now this following record I bought not that long ago, and uh, it's quite a thrill for me. This is uh, an, an artist from Morocco called Maui Abdelhamid, and the album is called uh, La Flute Orientale. Um, and is a excellent example of North African music. Uh, this is uh, actually a well-known record, at least in certain circles of people collecting uh, Maghrebinian music and uh, rather traditional music of the Sahara, North Africa. Um, yeah, wonderful album, really wonderful album. This came out again in the mid-70s. Um, I think around 74 or 75, I think, maybe, uh, fortunately I can't see it here, maybe it's on the, it came out on the Arion label, uh, as you can see here, but still looking for the year, but uh, I think it's like mid 70s. So a wonderful album prominently featuring the Nai, which is uh, this uh, long uh, reed flute. But it's not only flute alone, um, there is a whole ensemble. Uh, so you have a lot of oud playing and darbuka percussions, etc. 
So this is a great record and if you want to get into a certain North African uh, vibe, this is quite the perfect gateway. Check it out. Now next I went down into the psychedelic rabbit hole with this heavy duty album Space Shanty by Khan. Now this was uh, one of those Steve Hillage projects um, so oftentimes it's kind of regarded as a uh, uh, Steve Hillage record. Uh, it has Nick Greenwood on bass and uh, one of my favorite keyboard players, Dave Stewart on keyboards. So this is pretty cool from the beginning to end, a wonderful uh, record. Um, and uh, surprisingly a little bit overlooked, I think. Uh, um, I mean, I've seen this shown on VC most certainly more than once. But um, if you're looking it up somewhere, you, you won't find this on Spotify, for example, which is quite interesting, isn't it? I wonder why that is. Yeah, so uh, this case, this is a reissue that came out on, uh, on Tapestry Records and uh, this came out in an edition of 500. Yeah, so this is a great, uh, great psychedelic rock sound, sort of space music. Uh, and uh, obviously an example of some really good musicianship as you would expect from Steve Hillich and Dave Stewart. Now this here is completely new. That's why I still shrink wrapped. Um, although I've already played it, and, but I still kept the shrink wrap on it. Still undecided if I rip it off or not. I usually I hate shrink wraps. I mean, I've 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 noticed on we see that um, some people pay special attention to shrink wraps and try to preserve them when they open records, but. Uh, it was uh, this is a material that I've never really liked, and I always can't wait to rip it off and throw it away. Um, but uh, here it's still on. So this here, this is a band from Belgium um, called Compra Oro. This came out last week. This is together with uh, Murat Ertel from Babazula, a Turkish band I have shown you before, and uh, Murat Ertel's musical partner Esma Ertel. They have this uh, little band together called Mavi Güneş 69. Um, I had shown you a 7-inch they released up until now um, last year. Um, but this here is an uh, entirely new collaboration with this Belgian band called Compro Oro. And um, this is pretty cool. This is a wonderful record. I mean, this is brand new out of the factory right now so I have just listened to this twice and uh, I must say wonderful this is uh, the kind of a music that will take you on a journey um, stylistically I would say this is a uh, psychedelic jazz fusion album but one that is not based in uh, overly complicated arrangements but that goes more the spheric atmospheric route and uh, in combination with uh, Murat Ertel's electric sass playing um, you get a very wonderful very fascinating and intriguing sound and uh, yeah total pothead music also um, goes without saying um, if you are into that kind of thing and um, totally strong contender for my favorite record of 2020 brilliant stuff came out on a label called Zdeban Ultra and uh, yeah if you are intrigued and interested check this out this is very interesting uh, very innovative and at the same time very uh, moody music uh, that will keep you interested all the way through so uh, certainly uh, a strong recommendation from me check it out uh, Compra Ora with Murat Ertel and Esma Ertel the the record is called Simurk, fresh out of the press. So uh, check it out. So I have two more records here, um, both pretty strong zingers. So check this one, Dexter Wenzel, Life on Mars, um, a reissue of his uh, an amazing uh, jazz funk slash disco album from 1976. 
that came out on uh, CBS back in the day. And uh, yeah, I mean, this whole album is dedicated to the idea of musical coolness. And that's exactly how it sounds. Um, brilliant record, uh, great fun to listen. Um, if you need uh, cool, funky music with a disco vibe that will raise your mood and uh, pick you up, um, this is the right record. Very cool, kind of futuristic in a certain way, uh, as the title suggests. And all the track titles are kind of in this vibe. Uh, Rings of Saturn, theme from the planets, etc. It's mostly instrumental music, but there are some great female vocals. Um, now Dexter Wenzel is mostly a keyboard player, so you get a whole range of cool, uh, funky keyboard sounds here. And uh, he's also singing. So overall, this is a wonderful, wonderful, uh, powerful record uh, that uh, is just great fun. And uh, certainly something I can recommend if you're looking for music that will put you in a good mood. Life on Mars, Dexter Wenzel. And finally, this record is truly wonderful. And I enjoy it a lot. This is Kings Left Behind by... Ikebe Shakedown, uh, an album that came out two years ago and uh, that is a wonderful American outfit playing Afrobeat and jazz funk. So this is great instrumental music, uh, wonderful, energetic, uh, vibrant sound. And um, yeah, this came, this came out in this beautifully done uh, gatefold sleeve. Uh, so all very heavy duty. Um, one of the few examples where uh, the record itself comes in a very high quality inner sleeve. Now that's something that a record collector probably can appreciate. So uh, wonderful. This came out a, on a label called Coal Mine Records and um, an incredible band. And uh, if you like Afrobeat and uh, jazz funk and all those exciting combinations that can come out of the crossover of those two styles, this is the perfect band for you. And uh, then you should check it out. Wonderful, uh, great music. Uh, and uh, it's uh, certainly a great time for me uh, to be listening and discovering new music because uh, lately I come across some really amazing stuff. Not only stuff from the 70s, but a lot of exciting music that is quite contemporary. Um, certainly breaking a bit, breaking up a bit this uh, rather questionable paradigm that all the good stuff lies in the past and now everything is rubbish, which is obviously not true or just very partly true. So this was my selection for now and stuff I have been listening to in the last three or four days and um, maybe there was something there that inspired you? Then go for it and um, see you next time. Enjoy the summer, keep it spinning and uh, don't get paralyzed by the media.